All right, so let's get right into it. So let's start off with just defining the formula of what current clearance is. So current clearance is equal to 140 minus age of the patient times their weight. And weight is in kilograms. Let's just make a, like, a little like side note here, like weight is in kilograms. So as a side note, in medicine or in science, you use a metric system. So for weight, it's usually in kilograms. So over 72 times serum creatinine. And serum creatinine is a given number. And we'll talk about in detail what these uh, variables are and later or maybe in the next video. And if they're a female, you times 0.85 the entire formula. And that will give you the cranian clearance, the estimated cranian clearance. So now, let's talk about the different variables. So there's um, one variable is age, another variable is weight, and then the next variable is serum creatinine. So now, serum creatinine is usually given. So this is given. It's given through like lab results. So when a patient is in a hospital, um, they get lab results drawn from them, and the serum creatinine is estimated. Age is obvious, it's just uh, reported by the patient, and weight. Weight is the kind of the trickier one um, because of the there's kind of um, adjustments you have to make for the patient's weight based off their height, and we'll talk about that in this video. Um, but generally, this is the formula that you get um, you use to estimate their crank clearance. So everything else is very self-explanatory except weight. So in weight, we're going to talk about actual body weight, and I'm going to abbreviate body weight as a BW. So BW equals body weight so actual body weight there's ideal body weight and then there's adjusted body weight so adjusted body weight for the sake of time in this video I'll, uh, I'm gonna put this in the next video so I'm gonna put a little note here next video because I don't want to make these videos too long so this is the next video. So actual body weight is pretty self-explanatory. They're, uh, I'll put it, literally their actual weight. So in an ideal body weight, I would say it's basically um, what they should be weighing in, at, weighing in as. So, ideal body weight is depending on their male or female, so depending on gender. So, for males, the formula for ideal body weight, I want to uh, abbreviate it IBW, is equal, is equal to 50 plus 2.3 times inches over 5 feet, as in their height. For females, I do so I'm gonna put males in like this. Females F. I'm gonna put ideal body weight is equal to forty five point five plus two point three times inches over five feet. So this is basically the same formula, except um, for ideal body weight, it's 50 for males here and 45. So it's just a calculation. So what this is doing is estimating what their weight should be around, uh, depending on how big or how tall they are. So and let's do a practice problem. So let's, I'm going to give a, a scenario. So we're going to have a male patient. Um, patient for PT. We're going to have him weigh in about 80 kilograms. Let's have him be 5 foot 8 as in their height. So heights here, their weight is 80 kilograms. So now let's do the cranian clearance formula. Let's estimate his cranian clearance based off these uh, three factors we gave. And also let's make him 55 years old, 55 years old. And give him a serum creatinine of about 0.9. So, 
let's get started. So we have here, first, we need, before we go into the Quran and clearance formula up here, uh, let's first calculate his ideal body weight. So ideal body weight, we're going to look, okay, 50. So ideal body weight is equal to 50. Let's make this in a different color, so it might be a little more smoother. Okay. So ideal body weight is 50 plus 2.3 times inches over 5 feet. So how tall is he? He's 5 foot 8. Um, so he's 8 inches over 5 feet. So he would be 8 over here. And then we will then do, do a quick calculation. And let's see. 2.3 times 8 plus 50 is 68.4. So 68.4 kilograms. So this is his ideal body weight. So this is how much he should be weighing in as um, based off his height. But he's actually weighing 80 kilograms. So what we do, and this is kind of controversial depending on like institution or which hospital you're at. If it's generally under 30% of the ideal body weight, then you will use their ideal body weight in the uh, formula here. But if it's over 80 percent, um, over excuse me, over 30 percent, you will use the adjusted body weight, which we'll talk about in the next video. But let's just go with let's just continue the problem. So we have ideal body weight is equal to 68.4 kilograms. That's based off the formula we use over here. The actual body weight, the actual body weight is equal to what 80 kilograms so this is basically um how i like to do it as a ratio so um i'll divide the actual by the ideal body weight so we'll go 80 divided by 68.4 and let's see what we get 80 divided by 68.4 so we have 68.4 divided by no sorry 80 divided by 68.4 equals 1.1 Six nine, and this is roughly if you want to percent, you should kind of like disregard that one. This is about approximately, he's about seventeen percent because I'm looking at this. This is the one which disregard, seventeen percent over. So obviously seventy percent, seventeen percent over is less than. So it's less than thirty percent. Because again, thirty percent is what institutions have decided. So because of that, we use we just use the ideal body weight in the calculation for crayon and clearance over here so now let's just do a quick calculation for the crayon clearance because we have all of the, the other we have all the other let's do a quick calculation of the crayon clearance because we have all the other um all the other let's do a quick so because now we have the ideal body weight we're going to use it in the formula over here and let's do a quick calculation of the crayon clearance so crayon clearance like we talked about, it's 140 minus the age. The age of this patient is 55 times their weight. And like we talked about, since their weight is less than 30% um, of their actual, so we're going to use their ideal body weight. So it's going to be 68.4 over 72 times serum creatinine, which is 0.9. And since they're not female, we don't want to. We don't worry about the 0.85. So let's do a quick calculation and see what this um, cranial clearance is. So we have 140 minus 55 times 68.4 divided by 72 and divided by 0.9. So we have a cranial clearance of 89.7 milliliters per minute. And there you go. So in the next video, we're going to talk about the adjusted body weight formula and how that plays in a ro role in the cranial clearance formula. So next, oops, next video. So there you go. So as a review, um, you basically have the formula over here. You have or given the age or given the same creatinine so those are fine 
uh, it's just the weight where you have to put some uh, extra effort in calculating it and you have to determine what's their actual body weight which is given calculate their ideal body weight using their height and then comparing their ideal with their actual and seeing how much over or under is it if it's over by over 30 percent we'll use the adjusted body weight but we'll talk about that in the next video but if it's under 30 percent like in our case with 17 percent you just plug in the ideal body weight here and you crunch out the numbers and you get an estimated crayon clearance of 89.7 so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um let me know um, what, what your thoughts on i know my handwriting is not the best but um if you guys want me to explain more um or make a longer video that explains everything in one video or kind of break it up let me know, but make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.